I'm Shantanu. I'm a final year in the electrical engineering department and I've spent the last one month of my life at Texas Instruments India. Now I'm sorry if my voice doesn't sound like my usual Freddie Mercury self, but that's because I have a cold. That's right, the weather is changing and so is the industry. And if you want to be at the forefront of innovation and cutting edge technology, Texas Instruments is probably where you might want to be. So, um, a little brief about what TI does. Uh, TI's business model is broadly divided into analog and everything else. Analog is TI's bread and butter. It's what makes it the money. It what any small mistake in analog could actually cost the company billions of dollars, which is why I work on software. Now, uh, about my project specifically, I can't really um, elaborate much on that because of this little thing called an NDA. An NDA is a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, it's, a, it's a legally binding document, uh, so I can't really say much about it, right? The first rule about my project is to not talk about my project. Without getting into too much detail, my project involves um, coming up with a tool which makes programmers' lives easier, right? It's basically to shave like a week's worth of effort of the programmers' heads. It's used to um, optimize programs and find areas in your code which could need some improvement. But enough about me. Let's talk about the TI experience. I didn't show you a lot inside the campus and that's because we're not really allowed to. But, um, you know, it's just a bunch of buildings and cubicles, right? It's not anything visually spectacular, you know. It's not Montreal or anything, you know. That being said, what really matters is the work that actually takes place within these cubicles. And believe me when I say that this work is exciting, it's cutting edge, it's gritty, it's at the grassroots level, your hands get dirty, it's adrenaline fueled. Ah! You know, if you're into that kind of stuff, um... There's a reflection. Huh. The people at TI, man, that's that's what makes this company great. Timings, no dress code. So the people at TI are all young, so there's this huge, there's a lot of energy and there's a lot of excitement in the air, right? People are always running around, you can talk to anybody you want, everybody is super chill. I personally annoy 20 people on a daily basis with my doubts, and that's what's special about this place. You're not judged because of your doubts, right? You know, no one looks down on you, everyone is treated with respect. Um, and most people are like, you know, four or seven years at max older than me. So there's not a lot of gap between people here, right? Everyone works together, everyone mingles well, everyone has fun, which is what is important. The internship program, TI takes interns really seriously. Like, um, if you walk into a cafeteria or a floor, you can see interns everywhere. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of them. It's mad, all right? So the first day, uh, we actually spent an entire day uh, learning about TI's philosophy and how much it values interns, and it does value interns. Um, I was actually told that um, TI only gives interns live projects. Like, it's not like any side project that no one cares about, right? All the projects matter. All the projects have some significance in the company's output, so that's nice. Uh, interns are valued a lot. And there are lots of programs that keep coming up, right, for interns. Um, there was one about TI Mindsets, um, uh, where we had to, uh, we ended up building paper buildings. Um, uh, it was fun. And there was one uh, with um, how to present, right? So here's a little sneak peek of how to present. Hi. Uh, how many of you are aware of what the hippie moment was? So the hippie moment is something that influenced me deeply. The first, from the first second I heard about it, the first time I read about it on Wikipedia, the first time I was referenced in a song, it, it hooked out of me. And what it was, was uh, the uh, culmination of... Uh, if you guys can find a better use of this emoji, please do let me know. In all honesty, interns are valued a lot and we aren't looked down upon like some kind of a low life. We're actually given equal importance as employees where because where, uh, most interns do uh, turn into um, newly converted graduates or NCGs as they're called. Going to fun, uh, so Bangalore is usually filled with uh, NITK interns, right? Like half of the western side is bound to be in Bangalore. So we meet up sometimes on weekends or whenever they invite me, you know. But it's fun, it's Bangalore, you know. Over the past year, a lot of people have asked me, so, Shani, how did you get this internship? 
no one has but you know if they did what i would say is um so i started preparing two weeks before the um, companies came the companies usually come in the first week of uh, your fifth semester and um so the internship process was pretty uh, intense and grueling first round is like an online mcq type uh, screening test where they just test you on whatever you've learned or try to learn in, in your second year right for the first round, all you need to know is textbook stuff. I mean, they test you on, um, uh, for analog, they'll ask you stuff like circuits and find stuff in the circuit, right? I'm in the electrical department, by the way. Um, digital, again, same thing. Software is like basic C, uh, pointer related stuff, just to see if you actually know your way around concepts, right? Now the interviews are where they pull out the big guns, right? So now they have screened off people who don't know anything and now so everyone is kind of on the same page where they are, they all know the concepts, right? So the interviewers, uh, the first first and foremost, they ask you like application questions. The questions just come out of nowhere. These people have seen thousands of applicants and they know exactly what kills people, right? Um, but that's so concepts are just like 50% of what you need to know uh, the other 50% is your resume and they go through every single line of your resume and ask the backstory and the origin story behind every single line so even if you have lied which you know uh, let's be honest we all do is so even if you have lied on your resume or kind of you know you still need to know every single thing about what exactly you've lied interviewers know and, uh, and interviewers can catch you when you're lying right so be careful interviewers aren't too harsh like right? they're they're usually really nice um they they if you don't get anything uh, at the first try they nudge you towards the right answer they're nice people they're not bad right oh did i mention th they're taking us to a resort tomorrow um for an outing team outing it's gonna be fun you know i'm excited you know it's been a wonderful experience right uh the past month has been the most rewarding period of my entire life in terms of growth in terms of meeting people etc etc right so if you ever get the opportunity to work here you should uh, grab it by both of your hands and hold it there forever and ever and ever like i'm going to obviously Good luck take care uh, i hope you get in right um, all the best for everything you're doing bye